one God in the Lord. If I be found away. If I idolize an Esther in the presence of an asset, it's going to break up to give me the pairing from which the Esther was made. So I'm going to go back to get ethanoic acid plus ethanol. So hydrolysis of an ester gives back the parent acid and the parent alcohol. Now what if we carried out base hydrolysis now? This time, we're going to hydrolyze it in the presence of a strong base, like sodium hydroxide. We're going to get a slight change. We're not going to get the free acid, but what we're going to get is the sodium salt of the acid. But we're still going to get the alcohol. And sodium salts of carboxylic acids are what we often refer to as soaps. And because of this, base hydrolysis of an ester is given a special name. It's called saponification. Saponification is the way we make soaps, in particular from fats. So base hydrolysis of an ester is given a special name. It's called saponification. Now, so far, we've looked at organic molecules, where the main body consists of carbon and hydrogen only, which we call hydrocarbon. Then we moved on to organic molecules, where the main body consists of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And we looked at quite a few. Alcohols, ethers, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, and esters. Let's wind up the organic course now by looking at two functional groups or two type of organic molecules that in addition to contain 